in action. Cincinnati Public School athletes get the go ahead to resume practices and games as early as this week. The decision was made late last night following a four and a half hour school board meeting. WCPO 9 News reporter Ali Kramer here with the good word uh, live from Withrow High School with the news that so many students have been longing to hear. Ali. Uh, truly they have and they've been out since the beginning of August. Now, even though some practices are still going on, they can finally compete starting this week, but it's kind of a little bit different. They're going to sort of phase into those competitions, starting first with just district opponents, and then they'll sort of make that switch into uh, playing across the entire city and beyond. And it kind of depends on the sport as well. So we're talking about non contact sports, which in this case would include golf and volleyball, tennis and cross country. They could begin full competition this week, but soccer and football like you see here, uh, those are considered contact sports, of course, and they can only play district opponents this week, resuming normal competition next week. This is the fourth week of football. And so according to the Ohio High School's Athletic Association, even though they've missed some of these weeks and these games, they are still all going to be eligible for the playoffs with this shortened season. But uh, that's what everyone now is going to sort of shift their attention to. What about the fans? Can you watch those football games? Board President Carolyn Jones advised the superintendent and athletics director to come up with what she's calling, quote, reasonable accommodations for spectators. But don't expect to completely fill those bleachers just yet. They are going to be cautious at football games. So if students can return to the field, are they able to return to the classroom in person? It was a heated debate about four and a half hours at the school board meeting yesterday and they've made some decisions as far as bringing students back in. We'll have that coming up at 630 for now reporting live. Allie Kramer, WCPO 9 News. Very good.